question we have never asked before. Could you be missing signs from your loved ones from beyond the grave? Could a deceased family member be trying to talk with you or even warn you, but you are unintentionally ignoring the signs? My next guest, medium and grief counselor, Laura Lynn Jackson, says yes. And she wants to show you three ways to unlock signs from the other side. Please welcome Laura Lynn Jackson. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You break this down so nicely for us. So you say the ability to actually see beyond where we are now is not just something that medium is possessed, that we all have this ability. Absolutely. This is a gift that belongs to us all. You know, we all come here to Earth as souls, and we're all hardwired to each other and to a team of light on the other side. And that team of light is God energy. It's the angelic realms, our spirit guides, our guardian angels, if you will. And it's anybody we loved who is crossed. And our relationship with our team of light is ongoing. And when we lose somebody we love and they've crossed to the other side, they can help guide us too. And so we all have the, be the ability to tune in, to make that connection, and to open our minds and our hearts to the signs and the messages that are guiding us, and to help guide each other as well. So when we're talking about signs from the other side, people may think of incidents like the supposed haunting at a hotel. So take a look at this video. Keep an eye on the ceiling. <laughs> We need a new hotel room. Yeah, f that. How many of you would leave that hotel? <laughs> right. I mean, that, that's pretty scary stuff, but is that the kind of sign we're talking about? Because that's hard to miss. Yeah, so that sign's a little Hollywood, and, and to me, that sign's a little alarming. You know, when our team of light on the other side sends us signs, they don't like to scare us. So the signs that they send can be far more subtle than that. So I've always been a bit skeptical about things we can't see. As a scientist, that comes in handy. You should be. You I think push. being skeptical is great. But I, I lost my father this year. I'm so sorry. And uh, well, he, he, he did everything you'd ever want to do in life. He was 93, there's, there's dad. And I always felt he told me everything he wanted to tell me, because he never held back. But my mom feels like she's with him and talking to him continually. And it, it has actually shifted my thoughts around this. So for the skeptics like me, who, who, not, who aren't sure, right? What, is it possible for them to also have these signs, these insights from their, what do you call them, the team of light? The team of light, absolutely. You know, our loved ones who cross try to communicate with us all the time. So I, I think that skeptics can be convinced all the time, but the only way to really do that is to have your own direct experiences. I tell everyone, you know, this gift doesn't belong to just me. We all have experiences of connection. So is, Again, it's, it, is it possible for skeptics to get these signs? Is the reason my mom is having a dialogue or seeing signs from my father because she's open to this and I'm missing signs that are right in front of me or is he not trying to send me a message because well, he's, he's bored? He's, he talked to me already. No. I invested enough time in you. No, I promise you. He's still sending signs and messages. You know, you're a very busy man, so you might not be picking up on them. You know, we all can miss signs and messages, but when we learn how to tune in, you know, we can really start to see its presence in our lives. And sometimes they send us messages that are so in our face, so to speak, that we can't miss it. Let's meet Lisa. She says she's seen coins and maple leaves, and wants to know what these signs are. How are you? And again, I, just as, a, as an opening, so would you consider yourself a skeptic, open-minded, or not sure? I'm very open. Okay. Very open-minded. Right. And, and describe what you've been seeing. Um, so my grandmother passed a little over four years ago, and almost immediately after she passed, I started seeing things that I felt like were signs from her that she was reaching out to me. Um, regularly, as I'm walking along, I'll see a, just a coin in my path, and I know that that can be one of the signs, that can be a sign. So what are the other default signs that might unlock the rest of this opportunity? So coins is definitely one of them. Pennies, dimes, nickels in our path when we're having a moment of missing them or we've had a bad day or we're celebrating something, but it doesn't stop there. They love to do electrical disturbances and especially in today's day and age of the cell phone, they love giving you um, phone calls at a certain time or sending you a text message that you don't know where it came from or sometimes when you're texting someone changing the words in your text box. And the other thing they love to send are creatures that navigate the world using electromagnetic fields, I find. And so those are birds, butterfly, deer, dragonflies. They will do anything and everything to get our attention and let us know they're with us. 
but it doesn't end there. We can ask for specific things. You can ask them to send you something totally different. Let's say you want um, to make sure that it's your grandmother sending you the message. You could say, and you only have to say it in your thoughts, you know, I would like you to send me grandma and pick something, but make it a little different. You know, you could say, send me a purple elephant. And so when we ask for really specific things and we get them, we have to own those experiences. I hope that's helpful, Lisa. Yeah, very much. Come on over, Laura. Now, the other common thing I hear a lot about uh, are folks who have lost loved ones, and then they think about them at night. Yeah. And one of the ways you can unlock signs from the other side is to pay attention to this. Are you ready? It happens in bed. It's your dreams. And I just did a, a interview with Dog the Bounty Hunter, who lost his beloved wife uh, uh, two months ago, and he spoke about seeing her in dreams. And it was so vivid to him, the way he described it. And it reminded me that's not a bad time to think about this because your mind is letting go of the world around you. That's 100% true. When we dream at night, our brain goes offline and we are at our highest ability to communicate with the other side. So everybody has this incredible opportunity to connect with the other side, to get dream visitations from their loved ones, to get symbolic messages. Yeah, it can be a beautiful experience. Yeah, let, me, let me ask Sue to join us. And so you, I know you had a, a dream recently that, actually you don't have to have a seat, you can describe okay, it. Thank or you, you. you can join. Oh. So to tell, tell Laura about your dream. Oh, my dream. Well, it, as you said before, visitation. It feels like a dream visitation, not just a dream. Uh, it's so intense and you don't forget it. Um, and it leaves you with a good feeling. Yes. So recently I reconnected with a friend that I hadn't seen in years and he was sad because his sister had passed two weeks prior. And uh, we took a little trip together that night. Uh, we were staying by the ocean in Montauk and in my dream, I'm at the ocean, we're walking by the ocean and this big force of water takes us and swoops us and it, it wasn't very comfortable. So I, I thought this was it in the dream. But some kind of force came and lifted us up. And at that moment, I saw my son that had passed in 2005, and I saw his sister. And they were bringing us to safety. So Laura, what do you think about the story? First of all, I think this is such a beautiful moment of connection between you and your son and him and his sister too, and that you were the vehicle to bring that through. That's a visitation dream. And so what that tells me is that your son on the other side and his sister on the other side are part of both of your teams of light and have helped bring you two together. So what a beautiful messenger you are to share that with everyone. Thanks for being on today. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Laura's going to reveal the third way you can unlock signs from beyond the grave. And here's a hint. Laura says the secret can sometimes save your life. Since my father passed last year, I've been wondering if he's been trying to communicate with my family. He was never a quiet person. Uh, my mom says that she thinks she's speaking to my dad all the time, but is it possible? Medium and grief counselor Laura Lynn Jackson says it is. In her new book, Signs, The Secret Language of the Universe, she says she can show us how we can all learn to never miss a sign from beyond the grave. And she just showed us how to look for coins and animals and numbers and to pay attention to dreams for messages from loved ones who have crossed over. And now the third way, Laura says, you can unlock signs from beyond is to trust your intuitive pull. Yes, absolutely. We all have what I call a psychic toolbox available to us at all times. And I call it the four clairs. We have clairvoyance, which is what we were talking about when we spoke about sleeping and dreaming at night. It means clear vision. Mm -hmm. And it's when we are, have our psychic vision. So we have dreams that are you know, connecting us. We have clairaudience, which is clear hearing. And it just means if you hear a thought that's not yours, mm -hmm. that is loving and directing you, that's another form of in intuition. We have claircognizance, which means clear knowing, where we have a sudden absolute knowing in every ounce of our being, but there's no logical way to explain it. And then the one most of us are tuned into, and the one that's most prevalent is clairsentience, and that means clear feeling. And just to give you a quick example from my life, I'm always open to my team of light helping me. And within one week, I had three experiences where I was driving and I acted very differently suddenly because I had an intuitive pull to stop. One was turning into um, a parking spot 
uh, at Target where a three-year-old, I just stopped the car and my kids were like, mom, why are you stopping it? And with that, a three-year-old little girl ran. Oh my into, goodness. Uh, it would have been terrible. Another one, two days later, I was at a stoplight. It turned green and my daughter said, why aren't you going, mom? And I'm like, because, and with that, an 18-wheeler truck was oh, passed and blew gosh. the light. So these are real things that can not only help. Tell your kids to be quiet from now Right? I, they know by mom now. Mom knows what she's doing. But if we each tune into that, we can sometimes save someone else's life or our own so we can find our highest path. So this is not something to take lightly. It's something to really trust and tune into and open to. You up for questions from the audience? Oh, I would love that. I know we had somebody up here who's anxiously awaiting. How are you? Hi. Hi. Um, I was reading your book actually on the beach and I decided to ask for a sign of a red snapper because my dad loved to fish for them. So I spent the vacation looking for them like on the menu and things like Is that. Your father crossed over? Yeah, in 2013. So I spent, you know, the whole vacation looking for it on the menu and I never got it. So on the last day, um, the chef actually took us to the back to, for a little tour. And one of the first things he showed us was like full fresh caught red snapper. And I was like, it's a little jarring. So I guess how can you be more content to ask for signs, when, especially when you get them so quickly? Because I kind of haven't asked since. <laughs> it's a little scary. So the first thing I'm going to say to you is try not to be afraid when it happens. The greatest thing you can do when you have that beautiful moment of connection, and I love how your dad saved it for the final day and did a big, like, grand <laughs> showing, right? Um, I think what we need to do is in our minds and our heart, we say, thank you, I got your sign. And then the real, the best thing you can do, and you're doing it right now, is to share it with others. So not only did you just share it with the studio audience, you shared it with all of America, which is really celebrating and honoring your connection with your dad. <laughs> Hope that was helpful. Any other questions? Burning issues? Oh, of course, the very one second. I knew it would be the last person in the last row. Sorry. How are you? Hi. Come on down with me, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, easy. it's a good thing you did that. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Mary. Okay, we can ask from here. Go ahead, Mary. Hi. Um, my parents have been dead for about 30, 35 years. I don't dream a lot, and I want to dream about my parents. And I call to them, I'm like, mom, well, I'm old, I'm gonna be 67, not that that's old. But anyway, you were I'm good like, to me. mommy and daddy, would you talk to me? How can I get them to come to me? I love that you wanna to speak to them in your dreams. And so what you should say is to your, what I do is I use my whole team of light. I go to them as my spiritual bouncers and I say, listen, I'd really like for you to help facilitate this and let my mom and dad into my dreams so that I can have this moment of connection in my dreams. The other thing I'd encourage you to do is get a dream journal and keep it next to the bed because the universe will know you're serious then. I'm serious. Yes. And I do do that. But I don't dream a lot. That's the problem. Well, I can help a little bit with that. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do for pe people, who, people who don't dream aren't sleeping enough usually. And that's why some people have kids, especially have fantastic dreams because no one's yeah. waking them up usually. Right. But, I have no kids, I have no pets, I have nothing. Yeah, but, but, but you have us, you have the rest of the audience. You have the rest of humanity. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.